great to be here wherever I am. I always love it when I'm here. If I've never been here before, it's great to be back. And uh, pardon the way I'm dressed. I just got back from a wedding in Cowley. And uh, I'd like you to meet my new bride, but she's hurling in the toilet right now, and she'll be out later. One at a time now. Let's go now. Gonna have to take a number. People often ask me where I stand politically. It's not that I disagree with Bush's economic policy or his foreign policy. It's that I believe he was a child of Satan here to destroy the planet Earth. <laughs> a little to the left. And it's weird. Politics does make strange bedfellows, man. You know, when the dust settles to see what side you're on. It's really odd. You know what I mean? I was reading the paper on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday after the elections over, and there's a quote from Saddam Hussein going, we have nothing against the medical. We just want to see George Bush beheaded and his head kicked down the road like a sucker ball. I'm thinking, that's what I want to see. <laughs> cool, me and Hussein, we're like this, man. Saddam. You know Hussein is just still laughing in some basement bunker somewhere when that fucking election came around. That's what bugged me. Uh, Hussein's still in power. That's the crap that of all time. The CIA has a plot to get rid of him. It's a plot they've used before to get rid of world leaders. The only problem they're having is convincing Hussein, you know, to fly to Dallas. And, uh, yeah. But I think once there, the plan is fairly, you know, we got it. It's pretty operable. Can't say Dallas doesn't love you, said him. <laughs> but, uh, see, you know, you know what bugged me about the whole election? was that uh, they made it, you know, they, they totally reduced us to this worship of money, and that's what they made the whole election about, was taxes, you know, voting with your wallet, you know what I mean? People would say to me, Bill, you vote for Clinton, he's going to raise your taxes, okay? I mean, he'll tell you he's not, but he's going to. A vote for Clinton is a vote for higher taxes, Bill. See, I have news for you, folks. There's other reasons not to vote for George Bush than taxes. Okay? I don't know what's happened to us as a world. Maybe 12 years of republicanism has made us think this way. But the reason I didn't vote for George Bush is because George Bush, along with Ronald Reagan, presided over an administration whose policies towards South America included genocide. <laughs> so, yeah, you see, the reason I didn't vote for him is because he's a mass murderer. Yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll... I'll pay that extra nickel on, on, you know, a liter of petrol just knowing little brown kids aren't being clubbed to death like baby seals in Honduras so Pepsi can put a plant down there. I'll pay the extra nickel. And Bush, looking horrible the last few days, was wonderful to watch. He was just whiny and little. He looked terrible. He looked like Skeletor, man. <laughs> Halloween, they put a candle in the back of his throat and he went out as a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> but he's trying to buy votes, you know. He sells 164 fighter jets to South Korea. He sells 240 tanks to Kuwait. And then he has these speeches where he goes, We still live in a dangerous world. <laughs> Thanks to you! Fuck, before that, Kuwait had rocks, man. <laughs> He authorizes the production of more stealth bomb, the invisible fighter jet, I guess to help us defend ourselves against the invisible countries that threaten us every fucking day <laughs> to be named later. And I'm looking around the globe, there's no one that can threaten America ever. It's over. We know Russia was a fucking lie. There's nothing there. There's nothing anywhere. How does it feel to find out we are the evil empire? <laughs> there's no one who can threaten us, man. And I'm talking now only of countries we don't arm first. Okay, so if you want to argue on that level, you have a point. We keep arming these little countries and then going blowing the shit out of them. We're like the bullies of the globe. We're like Jack Palance in the movie Shane throwing the pistol at the sheep herder's feet. Pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. You shoot me. Pick up. Gun. 
my little westerns kit. You know? Find out boys who sold weapons to Iraq in 86. I mean, who the fuck is selling weapons to him, too? Huh? That's what bugged me about Bush, man. This this whole thing about him being a foreign policy expert. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you know, when it comes to foreign policy, George Bush is the man I trust. He's got the experience in coalition against Iraq. Incredible. That huge coalition, that giant coalition that included. been for John Major, huh? John, George Bush, how are you? Good. We have a disgruntled mass that's getting really bored here. How about a little firework? Well, let's go through the roll of day. No, no, you think you're kind of, Oh, here's one. Saddam Hussein, that'll look good. Let's go kill some sand niggers, yeah? Brilliant, brilliant. We'll be there. Right, right. We'll be there. Brilliant. Yes, we've already armed them too. It's brilliant. <laughs> You know exactly what we're up against. <laughs> what a huge coalition it was, you know? Oh, France had a couple of planes in there. Yeah, yeah, we told them, put a few fucking planes in or Mickey Mouse leaves the country. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, let's get back in line for the roller coaster. <laughs> we have done our duty. <laughs> Selling weapons since 86 to Iraq. And I wondered about that during the Persian Gulf War, those intelligence reports before it all started. Oh, Iraq, they have incredible weapons, incredible weapons. How do you know that? Well, <laughs> we looked at the receipt. But as soon as that check clears, we're going in. Bye, Bill. Enjoy England. I will. You're all fun. I'm gone. We will be fine. Bye. 